riding back down the road from Hayes State Prison on Friday, May the 4th. Big day today. We had to deal with some uh, internal issues with our peace movement uh, in Georgia's toughest prison because they shipped out one of our uh, most important leaders from our inmate peace council. He's been responsible for uh, a lot of the progress that we've seen on the inside because we go up there on Fridays and some Tuesdays and we do everything we can, but the men that are making the change happen up there, they wear white and they have to live there all the time and they're putting their necks on the line and they're fighting a good fight and uh, sometimes it makes the powers that be a little bit nervous when the inmates start having influence, even if it's for good. And so uh, one of our most significant uh, soldiers got shipped to another camp, which means we're going to be going to another camp soon with the peace movement because we're going to go with him. We're not going to leave him behind and forget about him. But we had to deal with uh, the feelings and uh, some of the anxiety and some of the stress and uh, turmoil that was going on at the camp today because uh, one of their leaders was, was shipped out. So anyway, we had a really honest talk and we called... Uh, men of the movement of peace at Hayes to go out and, uh, and really continue to make a difference, but to be very, very shrewd. And so today was a good day. Gary introduced a new, uh, a new part of our teaching today. Tell us about it. It's actually called the antivirus. You know, when you want to cure a snake bite, you go get snake venom. When you want to give a person something for the flu, like a flu shot, you give them the flu. So, in order to fix what we've torn up in all of our cities, we need an antivirus. Those who tore it up need to now fix it up. So, we're challenging them to go out and fix what they tore up. Whether it be schools, cities, and even that prison. We challenge them to go fix what they tore up. Just like America do when they go to war. A terrible place and they at least go fix it up <laughs> so we're asking you to help us go to www.thepowerofpeace.org and get involved somehow some way make a donation send us an email pray for us we're starting a national peace movement and we're going to the men who have caused all the problems and we're calling them to turn around and help us rebuild and you'll be amazed at the response that we're getting from these men. They need to be called to do something great, and they are responding. Because now we're on the road going to prisons and schools all over the place. And uh, the last shall be first. God's going to do something in this generation that you're not going to believe, even if somebody tells you about it. So until next time, go make something happen. Make it all about peace. Peace. Peace.